Yeah, the earnings are going to be very important because investors want to see just how quickly, if second quarter was the peak, how quickly earnings growth will tail off from here. We think you're going to get pretty good earnings, 20% plus on average uh, for, this, for this particular third quarter. So still looking good for the stock market, but some hesitation here. Mike, let me get your uh, perspective on this. If the earnings season disappoints, uh, can the stock market continue uh, to hold in? Or could it, could it start to turn even uglier than it's been over the past few days? Yeah. I think we have to maybe define what disappointing would be. I would imagine we are set up for what has become a pretty traditional rate of companies beating estimates. Maybe we'll be a little bit short of the second quarter and the first quarter, where about 80% beat forecast. But I do think a majority will likely beat because you haven't seen a lot of downward revisions to earnings or guidance uh, warnings or anything like that. But I do think the forward guidance becomes pretty important. 2019, I think, is being set up as a year of some suspense out there how much growth might decelerate, whether uh, interest rates will continue to go up in the face of decelerating growth, and exactly what the proper valuation for the market is in that context. And keying off that point, Paul, I mean, do you think that we've seen the full impact of tariffs? I and mean, we just got this warning uh, from PPG last night about rising input costs. This feels like the tip of the iceberg. And if we haven't heard the full impact of tariffs, doesn't 2019 set up to be sort of a I don't want to say kitchen sink year, but a year where companies may pull back on their exuberance when it comes to their expectations for growth. Yeah, it's a good question. Overall, we should think of tariffs as being a headwind for investors, but not the most important driver of returns or earnings next year. Yes, you're probably going to see tariffs get worse before they get better because nobody's negotiating yet. You have to negotiate the off ramps for things like tariffs. And so we might even see a full tariff blanket across all Chinese imports next year. Does that matter for, him, for, for earnings? Yes, but probably not as important as economic growth and profit margins and low inflation that still remain favorable. So if that ranks lower in terms of what it will drive earnings, what do you think are the big indicators here, Paul? Well, the, the most important indicators here are the, the growth of the economy, the fact that inflation is going to be low, and we don't think, we agree with Rick, that, there, that this is really a pretty orderly move here, uh, and we're not seeing a big sell-off in Treasuries. We don't think yields move a lot higher from here, and that will continue to help boost the stock market, not only in terms of, in terms of borrowing costs, but also in terms of attractiveness of current multiples.